Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here with a drink review, and, and no, I'm not going to put it on Wet Wednesdays. I got so much stuff lined up for Wet Wednesdays. I'm going to drink this whenever, you know, I get to it, I'll get to it, and I'll review it. And I was in Surefine going down, and then sometimes they have neat things I never heard of before. And they had a whole bunch of these, all a whole bunch of different flavors, and it's uh, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda Handcrafted, Montana's Legendary Soda. And uh, they were a dollar a piece, so I, I couldn't pass up. And there were the glass bottles staying nice and cold. So it'll be good for when you, uh, you know, during the summertime, it stays nice and cold. It says North American Beverage Company, Ocean uh, City, New Jersey, under license from Flathead Lake Monster Incorporated. Because there is a, it's kind of weird it says Montana and it says New Jersey, but oh well. Uh, it is. Based on something I call the a Flathead Lake Monster. I never heard of it before. And I, I think a guy named Gary Corbett made a very, very, I mean, he didn't make a uh, video. There was a very entertaining video shot in 1998 about the Flathead Lake Monster. They had some Destination America did one, but it was too, it was too dry Hollywood, you know, and too drama. This one's a very uh, local, amateur, entertaining, silly, funny uh, video, so I, I won't put the link in the description at least for this review. I hope you get a chance to check out the about the Flathead Lake Monster, something I never heard of before. I watched two videos about it; it's pretty cool. And the, like I said, this is a wild white grape handcrafted Flathead Lake uh, gourmet soda. Never heard of it before. And there were a couple reviews of it. I don't think anyone has ever done the wild white grape. I saw a bunch of reviews for Huckleberry, which I bought that. And I bought some other stuff too. All in the fridge, staying nice and cold. And as I get to it, I'll be reviewing it. And it's a uh, twist off cap. And you got another photo of the uh, Flathead Lake Monster. I almost said Crater Lake Monster, but that was that was a movie. That was very silly. All right. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot. Twist it off. Oh, it came off nice and easy. Good. Oh, look at it. Lots of fizz. Well, there was. I opened it up. Very mild, uh, faint flavor. Let's give it a shot. It tastes a little bit like grape, but white grape. It has like a. Remember the dew shine? It kind of has like the alcohol flavor to it, even though there's no alcohol in it. It's like. Well, this has real fruit juice in it. I don't know, but it does have an alcoholic flavor to it. It doesn't have fruit juice in it, but it's really good. Let me try some more. I read some comments. Some people had it at Yellowstone National Park, I guess. They liked it. I don't know if anyone had the wild white grape. I don't think this is too bad. I like it. Uh, I understand white grape flavor. White grape is like either you... Uh, not traditional grape flavor. Um, either you're into it or you're not. I don't think it's bad. I'd probably give this a... Let me try another sip. Not bad. I'll probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. So until next time, everybody, this has been Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda Handcrafted Wild Right Grape Montana's Legendary Soda based on the uh, Flathead Lake Monster. And that I, I was getting scared. That's a very scary monster. No, you, I, I'll put the link in the script. The video is very entertaining and silly. And there's a dog that comes out of the water, and they have like a little alligator thing. It's pretty funny looking. And I think you'll enjoy it. So until next time, please take care, of my legion. If you get a chance, I'll put the like I said, I'll put the link in. You should check that out too. You know, it further enhances the video viewing experience, I guess, of this soda. But for a dollar a piece, you know, you couldn't, you can't go wrong. And then they had like four packs. I just got like one of each. I wasn't going to go crazy in case I didn't like it. I mean, this one's okay. I probably wouldn't buy it again. But it's all right. It's kind of like the Dew Shine with that kind of like an alcohol type flavor to it. I don't know how the other ones are going to be, but it's okay. So take care, everybody.